Hey guys, welcome to day four. This is the day. This is a huge day where we are actually going to dig into how to overcome your sugar cravings. I'm going to be giving you a lot of information. I'm really trying to break it down into three main sections. Your nutrition has to change. Your movement and exercise needs to be incorporated into your life. And accountability needs to be incorporated as well. You are an addict, right? And we've already established that unlike other addictions, you cannot cut food cold turkey out of your life. If you're going to be around food and you're addicted to sugar, you need accountability. You need somebody who will check up on you or get into a group of friends who are all working towards the same goal. That's why I love running my challenge groups because we're all shooting for the same goal or keeping each other accountable. These are dangerous waters that we're in, especially in the very beginning stages when you're detoxing from sugar. In The Hunger Fix, the author speaks of three stages. You've got your detox stage. You've got stage one recovery where you're like a beginner recovery person and then you've got mastery where you are killing it, sugar has released its grip on you, you're not out of the woods, you're never out of the woods because your brain will remember that pleasure of sugar forever. So we can never just completely stop worrying about being vigilant when it comes to what we eat and our sugar. But when you're a master, you've, you've changed your entire structure of your life so that you're taking care of yourself. You don't have sugary foods in your house anymore. When you go out to eat, it's not a, this huge battle anymore. You just know, that food, it doesn't serve me. I can't eat just one bite, and I don't want to go back to where I used to be. So those are the three stages. I'm going to be giving you, tomorrow, in my resources, a meal plan that is based around the detox plan from The Hunger Fix. In the detox plan, we're really going to just focus on that because... Um, I can't take you through all the way to mastery. That takes months and months. Um, it's something that I work with my challengers in my fitness coaching business that I have to really help them get there. But for this free group, we're going to focus on detox because that's where most of us are. We are just still have got that needle of sugar in our vein. We want it. We want it all the time. So we've got to detox. Now, detoxing is super important because... As we learned, when you eat these hyper palatables and the sugar is so sweet and so um, it's, it's not accompanied by fiber or protein or anything else that will slow down its entrance into our system and we just get that hit of sugar, the dopamine rushes super strong in our brain and it's so strong that our brain literally can't take it. So in order to compensate, the dopamine receptors just die. Our brain just, just kills them so that we're not overloaded with all this sweet sugar. Well, the cycle of that is that next time, we need to eat twice as much sugar to actually feel the pleasure because we've got half the amount of receptors in our brain. And all that does is kill more receptors. And so we just want more sugar. And that's why you could eat a whole sleeve of Oreos and still not feel satisfied. So the detox stage is super important to allow those dopamine receptors to grow back again. And not only are we going to remove sugar from our diet, but we're going to add in foods that are actually foods that foster and encourage brain growth. Those are the foods we want to eat. We want to get our brain back to a baseline, non-sugar dependent <laughs> um, state as we can. So... Uh, we've got to be strict about our nutrition. We've got to remove all the false fixes from our cabinets and our pantries. Guys, just think of it as sugar is cocaine. You don't want it near you. You don't want it around you. You're not strong enough yet. We are in the detox phase. Thinking of it that way was so helpful for me. So we've got the nutrition aspect that I'm going to be posting about. I'm going to give you more details later on today. We've also got a movement component. So you have to accompany this nutrition change with movement as well. I'm calling it movement and not exercise because some people hate exercise. It doesn't matter what you do. You don't have to be running on a treadmill for half an hour, but I want you to move. Moving releases dopamine as well and endorphins. Both chemicals that make you extremely happy help you combat the stress. You know, we eat 
sometimes to combat stress that's in our brain. Well, let's exercise instead. Let's move. Uh, dancing is actually one of the most awesome ways to move because music also helps your brain to deal with stress. So you couple music with movement and you've got an extremely powerful way to combat your food addiction. And the last thing is accountability. I already spoke about that earlier in this video. So those are the three main ways that we can combat our food addiction. Um, I'm going to definitely be posting more when it comes to the nutrition side tomorrow. Really want to break down the meal plan, why it's set up the way it's set up, how the foods really help your body. Um, there are even some supplements like spirulina and probiotics that not only help your brain to grow and help the receptors grow back, but also help with the candida that's in your gut. Candida feeds on sugar, and the more we have in our gut, the more we crave sugar. So there's just like all these different components that are working against us when it comes to sugar addiction, and we want to use all the tools that we can to just get ourselves back to a normal, non-addicted state as much as we can. Um, so for today, we're just gonna focus on those three things. Now, in the book, there is quite a few more ways that we can fight food addiction. I wish I could go into everything that the book has. Guys, I really recommend you buy this book. It's so good. But I'm just gonna focus on those three. I think those are the top three re ways that we can fight food addiction. But she also talks about meditation and just focusing on positive things. Um, I'm, I have a very strong faith in God, so I take that to be prayer. You know, setting my mind on things above, setting my mind on positive thoughts. I'm gonna also be posting in the files section of this group, just some ways to deal with negative thoughts. Our thoughts are extremely powerful, and this is, as we spoke of earlier, a couple days ago, an emotional journey. You're going to have to deal with some emotional things, emotional weight. So check out that file that I post in the file section of this group. Read through it. If it's helpful to you, print it out. You know, take this opportunity to get healthy, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually as well. Incorporate prayer or meditation into your life. Guys, why not? What do you have to lose? These are powerful tools to get you healthy and healthy people can do whatever they want. They can spend their life pursuing their dreams, giving to others, being with their kids, being with their families, working on projects that they love. This is what life is all about, is living it to the fullest, unhindered by sugar addiction and doubt and fear and depression and all of these things that drag us down. We can rise above them. So I hope you enjoy all the information that I'm going to give you today. It is a lot and I tried to make it as simple as possible. I promise you this is the least amount of information I could possibly give you while still giving you some good information. So um, take a look at it. Feel free to ask questions, interact. I would love to hear from you. Have you experienced any of this to be helpful? And I can't wait for tomorrow where I can share with you a little bit more detail with the meal plans and the recipes and the tools that I've used to help me escape my sugar addiction.